Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to collect the seeds from a hollyhock plant. So let's go. Hollyhocks are typically a biennial plant, which means the first year that they grow from seed, they just produce leaves. They don't produce any flowers. And then the following year, they'll have flowers. And then after that year, they'll die. But many times, hollyhocks, as well as other biennial plants, will drop their seeds. And what that means is you can get your plants to come back year after year. You just want to make sure that you're scattering the seeds by hand or that the plants are naturally dropping their seeds. There are a lot of different types of hollyhocks out there. There are taller varieties as well as shorter varieties. Some people refer to hollyhocks as biennial. Other people refer to them as a short-lived perennial. I visited my friend's house earlier this summer and I collected a lot of flower seeds from her house. One of them was the Zebrina hollyhock. It's a type of malva, very, very pretty. And I was able to collect a number of seeds at that time. What you're looking for when you're collecting your seeds is you want the seed pod to be a brown color. If it's green, that means that the seeds inside the seed pod are not ripe yet. So you definitely wanna wait until the seed pods are more of a brown color. Okay, so let's take you in for a closer look here so you can see what the seed pods as well as the seeds look like of the Zebrina hollyhock. So here are some examples of what the seed pods look like. You can see they're pretty small compared to my hands. Now keep in mind, the larger the hollyhock plant, the larger the seed pod. But basically what you're looking at here is a seed pod that's closed on all the sides, but right in the center, it's open. And if I just very carefully peel it apart, I'm trying to be gentle, and just with my fingers, I'm moving the seed pod back and forth. And just by doing that, it's releasing the seeds. The seed pods have actually quite a few seeds inside of them, which is really nice. What you're looking at right now is a close-up shot at what the Zebrina hollyhock seed pod as well as the seeds look like. I like to store my seeds inside of the small Ziploc bag. I like to label it so it's a hollyhock. The type of hollyhock is Zebrina. I collected these at my friend Linda's house in 2023. I have a dime here that shows you for reference the size of the Ziploc bag compared to the dime. Also, the dime shows you how small the seeds are as well as the seed pods. You can store your seeds in a paper bag or some sort of container or jar. The main thing you're looking for is you want to make sure that the seeds are fully dry before you store them. And you want to store your seeds in a cool, dark, dry location. Once I remove the seeds from the seed pods, I can then throw away any remaining material left over from the seed pods. It's definitely getting cold out. It's early November here in New Hampshire. So quite a few of the videos that I'll be making will be indoors, just where it's warmer. I've made a ton of videos that show you how to collect the seeds from various flowers. So if you haven't checked them out, I do have a playlist that shows you the process for collecting the seeds from lots of different flowers. Someone asked me recently, how come I repeat myself in every single video that I make for seeds? That I store them in a small Ziploc bag, that I show a dime, and the reason why I do that is sometimes people will do a search on how to collect the seeds from a particular plant and they'll find one of my videos and they'll watch it. They might not have seen any other of my videos. So I want to make sure I include all that information in each and every video. It was a funny question. I figured I should probably share why I sound so repetitive in all my seed videos. This winter, I'll be showing you how I start a lot of my annual plants indoors under grow lights as well as a lot of my perennial plants outdoors using the winter sowing method. So you don't want to miss those videos. And until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.